All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at the base patch for Night Call by Kavinsky. Uh, we're going to be recreating this base on the Moog Grandmother today. Uh, this video is actually a re-upload, so if you saw the first iteration of this video, I do apologize. Uh, when I made the video the first time, I had made the patch from memory, but <laughs> my memory is not as good as I thought it was, as there were some comments saying it was just a little bit off, and I agree, it was. Uh, so I've spent some time in the beat lab and I have redone the entire patch from scratch. So this is hopefully a more accurate representation of what is actually on um, the track itself. So yeah, let's get started. Um, oh yeah, just really quick. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Uh, just hit 80 subscribers. That's awesome. Um, I really do appreciate it. So cool. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start um, over here in the right-hand side, and we're just gonna turn the volume up to around noon. Um, while we're over here, we're gonna make sure the VCA mode is in envelope, uh, which is just one to the left. Uh, again, it's already there, so we're gonna leave it alone. Then we're gonna jump over here to the left-hand side um, to the oscillators. So we're gonna make sure the um, oscillator one is in octave 32. Uh, and the oscillator 2 uh, octave is in 16, both of which are already there. And we're going to make sure our waveforms are both in sawtooth, which is just one from the left. And again, they're both there, so that's good. Um, this is the most harmonically dense of the four uh, waveform options, which uh, gives the bass um, that cutting through the, uh, the mix sound. So that's awesome. And um, speaking of oscillators, we're going to go ahead and turn those both up to noon. Uh, oscillator 1 is there already, so that's good. Oscillator 2 is there now. Um, from here, we can go ahead and uh, we can adjust our envelope. Uh, so we're going to put the sustain around 5. And uh, we can here give that a little bit open there. So we're going to put that around 5. And... Um, we're going to leave the attack alone. The decay is going to go to um, about uh, 4 o'clock. And the release is going to go to about 2. And our filter, which we prematurely opened up there, is going to go to around 11 o'clock. The envelope amount is going to go to 3. And we can start to hear that sound that we're getting, uh, which is almost there. Uh, the resonance is going to be the last piece of that puzzle. It's going to go between like 12 and 1. I mean, just kind of listen to it and give it a, a judge for yourself there, but that's where I like it. Um, and then, yeah, we can listen to that here. So it sounds like this. And those notes, um, it's just the uh, A to the B, and then the G to the F, and then the E to the D, and then it goes the E back to the A. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. So there you go. I hope you guys have learned something, and we'll tune in next time. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>